now now we're back at the next part and I believe this is where I'm uh, what I was what I was referring to before there's there's a, this specific pattern right here so you have blue blue green red and yellow so you need to do that right up here and put those out in that order uh, what order was that again my memory is the worst so that's also probably another reason why I always stuck at this uh, blue blue green red blue green red yellow blue green red yellow blue green red yellow you need to be prepared with that one blue green red yellow oh my god uh, blue blue green uh, red and yellow hopefully this is gonna work thank you this time around it actually worked uh, because I know another time when I did this I did the exact same order but for some reason the door still wouldn't open so I used to figure out there must have been some weird glitch, so I just saved my game and then after that I um, right after that I just saved the game and then I just kind of restart and then it worked again so uh, it's, a, it's a very strange glitch and I'm not really sure I'm the only person that that happened to but uh, yeah it could just be me, I'm, I'm probably just retarded, I just didn't really understand that so uh, let's see here, Tricky you should stay right here uh, for what reason? I don't know. I, I think it's the uh, ladder, ladder right here. And then you need to be using the freeze ability again. And then get rid of that, and then it starts opening that gate. And let's... Uh, oh, I'm gonna jump right into the flame if I do that. Or like in the lava. Let's see here. Come on, Tricky. What are you not doing? What are you talking about? Come on. Um, let's see. I think this is a similar. Okay, it's one of those. And these are the ones that you really need to time like almost perfectly. Come on, Tricky. What are you doing? Come on. What are you doing, Tricky? He's not listening to me. What is he doing? Come on. Yes. Come on, Triggy. Uh, stay right there. Uh, yeah, this shouldn't be any problem. You just need to put out the fire before you do anything else. And then jump in onto it. And of course, I failed at that. Um, then we need to use the blaster. Come on. And of course, I failed again. So, finally. That opens the gate. Oh, I need to do that on the, on the other ones as well. Oh, I, I now I understand. Oh, come on! Thank you. Come on, come on, come on! Change to blue before. Yeah, thank you. So you need to just, like be standing in a specific way in order for that to uh, work. So, come on, tricky. Thank you for your help. And now we just have to uh, go right into this area. And uh, once we get over here, we get to the uh, the spellstone area, basically. And after that, we don't need to get back to this stupid place again. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I mean, I'm gonna try to avoid complaining about the volcano force point temple and move mountain pass. But I mean, I I just don't like these areas. <laughs> So let's see here. Where is the spell stone? There we have it. So after this, I do believe we need to go to the lost like location or whatever in the game, which is uh, I believe it's uh, Dragon Rock. So the only thing we're probably gonna do right after this is to uh, get back to uh, Thorntail Hollow and then probably buy the map and then uh, off to that place. So. <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? It sounded like a weird, like, almost like a cat or something. Wow! <laughs>
I don't even care. I'm not really sure what that was, but it sounded really strange. Well, goodbye. <laughs> yep, goodbye. Got no time for you, Sharp Claw. The fact that they just let you go, I mean, they don't even try to, like, run after you. It's like, oh, whatever, well, I'm too lazy to, do, to chase a fox. <laughs> uh, let's see here, let's jump. And I jumped right into that fire fireball or whatever it was. And I almost run right into the fire again. Goodbye. And then we... Oh, wait a minute. There's a Bob Thumb Dad right over there as well. Might as well pick that one up. You, do, you don't find those very often. And usually when you find them earlier in the game, you only have room for one Bob Thumb Dad. Uh, so might as well just pick this one up. Thank you. And uh, then we will run all the way back over here again. Uh, it's probably just going to be running back to uh, Thorntail Hollow. And then I believe there's a... I'm, I'm not completely wrong about this, but I think we need to save a couple of dinosaurs like uh, the Thorntails themselves to... Uh, because I believe there's a bunch of like bats harassing them. And I did this same thing again that I did previously, the last time I was in this uh, area. How stupid of me. Should have known better. Moon Mountain Pass. So the last thing I'm going to do in this uh, part is probably just going to enter the store and buy that uh, map, the lost map, which is uh, Dragon Rock, and then uh, either call it a day and, or maybe continue tomorrow. I don't, I'm not really sure. I might as well just uh, continue until I reach uh, Dragon Rock. So. And that last one, the last uh, space thing, like whenever you need to uh, collect uh, an amount of uh, gold rings in order to open the force field, I think you need to collect at least 10 gold rings, which is like pretty much every single gold ring. And uh, like you can probably tell that I've told you before, I am not very good at flying in this game, so that could be a little bit tough. I mean, I can't really call myself an expert on this game uh, at all either, because, I mean, you clearly saw probably in the first part or second part of this uh, series that I was just, just terrible in the first area, so. So let's see, I believe we need the Fire Blaster for this. And let's see here, jump over here, and then we're going to have a goddamn invasion of bats. They are so annoying. I hate those creatures. <laughs> I mean, don't they have anything else to do than to, like, harass harass me and harass those poor dinosaurs? And you have a specific amount of time on... You only have one minute to uh, take out these stupid idiots. That's one. Then we have another one right over here. Oh, come on. Thank you. And then there's uh, the one over here. Oh my god, almost half the time has gone by. There's the last one. My god, the last one is always the most irritating one. Or the more, most frustrating one. And it doesn't really help that it's been raining and right now, and I can barely see them. Let's see here. I believe there's one down here as well. Maybe one up at the uh, at the warp stone as well. I'm not completely sure about that, but I knew for certainty that there's one, uh, another one right here that needs saving. Oh come on! Thank you. Oh, at least oh, I, there is actually one more that uh, the spellstone, not the spellstone, but the warp stone. Sorry. Oh no, it's this guy. And I have almost no energy left. Oh, don't miss now. Oh, just barely. But you'll get more scarabs. <laughs> yeah. 
Why is he so ungrateful? He got a larger, like, scarab bag, so you can carry more scarabs. Uh, 200 scarabs. Uh, so, uh, now that you've got that big scarab bag, you need to fill it with scarabs. You should be able to buy something shiny and golden from Mr. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. So you need to, uh, buy that artifact thing that the storekeeper is holding in there. Uh, and, uh, return to Snowhorn Waits. But, uh, that's gonna be in the next part, so see you then.